Okay, so today we're going to look at LFSE, ligand field stabilization energy, and then we'll take that one step further and look at stabilization energy of coordination complexes. And we can use this to predict whether a compound is likely to be high spin or low spin. So we'll walk through the example of the iron complex with six water ligands. So our calculation for LFSE is that it's negative 0.4 times the number of electrons in the T2G orbitals plus 0.6 times the number of electrons in the EG orbitals times the delta zero, delta O, which is the energy gap between the T2G and the EG. So our example, the first thing we need to do is determine the number of D electrons. So this is iron plus two. Iron has eight valence, so this is six D electrons. Then we draw the splitting diagrams. I have them over here and we can fill them in. So for high spin, we would fill in one electron in each orbital and then pair one. And for the low spin, we're going to put all of them paired in the T2G orbitals. So we've drawn the diagrams. We set up the equation. So this is LFSE negative 0.4 times T2G. So that's times 4 plus 0.6 times the 2 in the EG. So that's times 2. So this is negative 1.6 plus 1.2 times delta O. And that gives us negative 0.4 times delta zero. And if we assume that delta zero is 16,000, usually you have to go look that up for the compound or measure it with the UV. So that gives us, if you do the calculation, negative 0.4 times 16,000, you get negative 6,400 centimeters to the minus one. For the low spin, this is gonna be zero because I don't have any in the EG, and this will be six. So this will be negative 2.4 times delta O. And if that's 16,000, we'll multiply 16,000 times negative 2.4 and we get negative 38,400, oops, there should be 400 there, centimeters to the minus one. So we've calculated the LFAC for both of them. In the next page, we're gonna talk about calculating the SE, just the stabilization energy. So this is the LFSC, Plus, then we take into account the cost of pairing electrons. So I've taken, I brought over the 64 net minus 6400 centimeters to the minus one for the high spin from the previous page, and, and minus 3800 for the stabilization of the low spin. Then we have to look at how much pairing energy. So in this, we have one set of electrons. And so that, that are paired, so it would be plus one pairing energy. But in the low spin, I have three sets of electrons that are paired, so this will be three pairing energies. So this, the pairing energy has been calculated here is minus 18,000. So this will be minus 6,400 plus 18,000, which gives you, 11,600 centimeters to the minus one. And this is minus 38,400 plus three times 18,000, so plus 54,600. We add those together and we get 15,600. And so we have the stabilization energy. So now we look at how much energy it costs to put the electrons into the upper orbitals, the EG, the higher energy, plus balancing it with how much it costs to pair them. 
And when we calculate them together, we can look and say, oh, the high spin is actually more stable. It's got a smaller energy than the uh, low spin. So we would predict that this iron complex is high spin.